story when it comes to building a business. To some, it's never an easy task to partake. And to some, they have very good stories of how they started from scratch and built their empires to profitability. And that's the reason why Bizna Kenya and MC Moments have partnered to bring you Biz Talks. Biz Talks. And here we shall be hosting mentors, people who have gone ahead of us, people who have created these empires, people who have also on the verge of creating these particular big businesses. And these lessons will be valuable for you, the business person, for you, the aspiring business person, the entrepreneur, so that at least you can make wise decisions when it comes to building that business. So every Friday at 8 a.m. on all business platforms, that's the Facebook and YouTube channel. Good morning and welcome to Beastalks. I hope you're keeping well from wherever you are. Karibu sana. It's still a little bit of the Nairobi winter. I don't know what happens this mornings, you know. But today by there I'll tell you of a product you can be taking to keep yourself a bit safe. Especially during this season of Corona, you know. Because the guest in the house today, mm, 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 a lot of things. Today we're talking about leadership in business. And guess who is in the house? The CEO, Premier Foods Limited. Yeah, I know you're wondering what is that. But if you know Pep Tank. I'm sure in your house, wherever you go, there must be something peptan-ish somehow. And I'm sure you'll get to know more about this because my, my table, my table that I want to be showing you, even our, we have a shop now. Even our shop is full of those products. So Joseph Choge is right here. Karibu sana to the show, man. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's good to see you. It's good, good to, to have you. you here. Thanks so much for that. It's like decoration. <laughs> <laughs> the number of products. We'll be talking about all that now. But first, as yeah. usual, I want you to flip your cup because okay. I will serve you some nice Melvin's cup of tea. Okay. I don't know what you're going to have. Uh, have you made a choice yet? Yep. I yeah. chose masala tea. You, you're, you're such a man. You know? <laughs> <laughs> masala, yep. masala chai. chai. Is yes. it? Yes. You know, I've been taking a lot of hibiscus because it doesn't need sugar or anything. Yeah. But today, let me yeah. just copy you a bit. I'll also have a masala. Fantastic. Are you going to have it with hot water or with some milk? Uh, uh, what's your choice? Uh, hot water and just a little milk. A and a little milk. milk. Yeah. Okay, I'll so Where I come from, we milk a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and where is that, by the way? You know, we can start that conversation. Where, yeah. where, where do you come from? <laughs> I come from uh, Kalenjin land in Kitale. In Kitale? Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. There so, yeah, we grow milk. maize. Yeah. And then uh, lots of milk okay. to go with. I forgot to ask you whether you like it a lot of milk or a little milk or um, just a bit, just so, a little so bit. So is this fair enough? That's fair enough. Oh, that's yeah. fair enough. Eh? Yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> that's Apple sour. There you go. Very, there you go. Very, very so good. feel free. Go ahead. Uh, Thank and, you. And where you come from? Do you, do you take sugar or? Uh, no, I don't. You don't take sugar. Oh, you don't take. <laughs> we don't take. We're <laughs> we healthy people. We're healthy guys, right? <laughs> yeah. And we'll talk about some of the products because they're also super healthy. Yeah. So if you're watching us right now, please click on that share button. Let everybody know that Peptang is in the house and they're willing and ready to get to learn. So today yeah. I said it's all about uh, tips yeah. from the people who have led and gone ahead of you. If you're yeah. an SME, a you business a person, or you need a yeah. spoon as yeah. well. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Thank you very much. So if you need to learn, please feel free to, to do that. Now, if you're yeah. watching us, please let me know where you're watching us from and uh, so that at least we can give a shout out. Uh, and if you know Joseph as well, say hi. You know, <laughs> we're going to check him out. Yeah. So thanks, man, for coming. My pleasure. I can just admire. You know, I just want to tell our viewers that all the products that you guys do at Peptang, yeah. there are so many they couldn't fit on the table. So <laughs> I, it's just good to mention that, that you came with a whole <laughs> pack yep. that could not fit here. Yeah. But thanks a lot. Yeah. So, uh, you know, my first question definitely is always when people ask you who Joseph is, who do you say Joseph is? Um, <laughs> yeah, it uh, comes with a myriad of uh, answers, yeah, yes. from, so I consider myself, uh, I'm a husband, yes, yeah, <laughs> uh, to a beautiful girl called Brenda. Wow, shout uh, out to Brenda. Yes, yes <laughs> uh, a father, yeah, uh, to beautiful kids, yeah, uh, a business leader, mm -hmm. um, having traversed the various corporates, no uh, doubt about you being within the country leader. and outside. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So that's pretty much me. Uh, yeah. a guy from the humble beginnings and uh, just trying to trailblaze and probably inspire many. Uh, you know. To grow. Yeah. 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 Please allow me. I know I had not prepared you for this because I just want to tell our viewers. Yeah. You know, quick shoot. That where did you go to primary school again? <laughs> <laughs> Lokichar Primary School. Yeah. Where we are now drilling. In Turkana. We are drilling. In, in fact. Turkana. 
Yeah. I wish I knew. You know, I could see when I was in primary, eh? yes. I could see some wet stuff under the sand. Eh? You didn't know that uh, was oil. If I knew it was oil, <laughs> we wouldn't be talking this <laughs> nini. <laughs> I'll be a dollar, dollar, it's called a dollar billionaire, dollar petrol dollar. Dollar. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> I tell you. Yeah, but then, speaking but of which, I, I don't know yeah. what happened. I yeah. left us drilling. I don't know what happened. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know what went. Uh, I don't know what went where. I you don't know? know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but Lokichar, Lokichar was fantastic. Uh, yeah. Uh, that that really humbled me in my yeah. life. Eh? We used to eat three biscuits and uji for lunch, breakfast, and dinner. It was crazy. That was it. Yeah. Eh? Wow. But it was, and then the sun, of course. Eh? Forty plus. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I really want to keep. I I know there's a lot we can talk about your yeah. life, yeah. but but it's good to mention. Uh, so, from Turkana, mm -hmm. then you went to. You told me in Kitale somewhere. No, Litain. Litain is in Kericho. Litain High School. Litain High School. Yeah. And then now you went. Then to I went to the University of Nairobi. University of Nairobi. Uh, Chiromo campus. Yes. Lovely. What were you studying? I studied. Uh, I took a BSc in mathematics. <laughs> Does maths have something to do with business? You know, now you're a business leader. You know, <laughs> you know, yeah. Um, yeah. No, business has always been in my blood. Um, after high school, yeah. Uh, if you read me somewhere, I've talked about selling milk like crazy. I was a proper milk hawker. Eh? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> selling, you know, started with the bike. Yes. Selling a couple of liters of milk and just ballooned into several liters of milk. Eh? Yeah. And I actually didn't want to go to campus after. Whoa. After Whoa. Uh, I mean, after making some good time. Yes. So business has always been there. Uh -huh. And uh, be, be, besides the BSc, I did CPA yeah? mm -hmm. to just get the proper business acumen now wow. from, a, from, a, from an educational perspective. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that, no, that, lovely. that helped to balance the two. Lovely. Yeah. So after campus, yeah. I know. I, I just wanted to just call, let me call your company Peptang because yeah. that's yeah, the yeah, brand yeah, name, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> did you go straight to Peptang or did you have you know some other places that built you to where you are? Yeah. Um, uh -huh. I hoped a bit. Uh, first yeah. of all, tamak. Which is common. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tamak seriously. Tamak a bit. <laughs> yeah, tamak seriously. And then the journey began. Okay. Um, uh, a little bit of Barclays mm -hmm. as an uh, accounts assistant in the okay. finance department. Okay. Um, moved moved to a company called Real Insurance. Mm -hmm. So okay. Real Insurance is, um, is 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 now bought. It, changed, it was Royal Insurance changed yeah. to Real Insurance, yeah. then bought by Britam. Okay. Yeah, I did okay. two years as an investment officer, uh, uh -huh. investment and treasury. Uh -huh. Fantastic uh, experience there. Yeah. From there, um, I moved to Unilever. Yeah. Uh, Unilever East and South Africa. Mm -hmm. First, I started with Unilever T Kenya as yeah. a financial accountant there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, did did a, a stint in the tea business. Yeah. Then moved to the consumer business where we did this other stuff, the Royco's, the Blue Band, and the likes. Okay. Um, did there a great place to work. Yeah. Enjoyed myself. Grew. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, then from there, I moved to Airtel Africa. Okay. Airtel Africa then was based in uh, on Mombasa Road. Yeah. I think now we were the Oval Office. Yeah. Um, so I did Airtel Africa for two years, exactly two years, mm -hmm. uh, as a strategic assistant for the Group CFO of Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, we were looking after 17 African countries. Wow. So that was amazing experience as well. Mm -hmm. Then one day, I just tell the guy, I I want an operating company experience, <laughs> and I want it to be some. You know, it's French-speaking country. I don't speak French. I didn't speak French then, <laughs> and that's how I ended up in Gabon. Oh, you went to Gabon. I went to Gabon as a general manager of finance there. Hey, with and the I, language barrier. I'm telling you, Google <laughs> translates up to the shop. <laughs> you know, I would, wow. I would go. I would go. You know, I ever went to a supermarket. Yes. To buy chicken. Yes. <laughs> then I was wondering how come this French chicken is so small. Uh -huh. Then a friend comes in when I want to start cooking and asks me, "Hey, I didn't know you like quails this much." <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was digging in a quail, man. <laughs> thinking it's chicken. Well, that's small. Eh? Yeah. So yeah. So baptism by fire. <laughs> baptism by fire. Yeah. Um, wow. So yeah. how long were you in Gabon, man? Gabon, I was there for four and a half years. Wow. Yeah, you which must have learned some French now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I say I'm poor. Uh, yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, oh, just a little. Yeah, bit. I can, I can, I can. You know, we we can converse, and at yeah. least I can. Okay. Yeah, you can okay. relate to the, 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 no, the lovely, French. You know, yeah. Apart from the greeting, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm so After bonjour, it's finished. Eh? I'm done. I'm yeah. done. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, so lovely. did four and a half years in Gabon. Mm -hmm. After Gabon is when I came to my current employer, who yeah. is IPS, Industrial yeah. Promotional Services. Mm -hmm. um, so I've been with IPS for the last four and a half years. Wow. One year mm -hmm. with the telcos. We have telcos in Uganda, Tanzania, and Burundi. So I was uh, looking after the telcos. Yeah. Did that for a year. Mm -hmm. Then uh, moved to now my baby, uh, Premier Foods, now Peptang. Wow. Where we've now been churning out products and, you know. Amazing products. Enjoying, enjoying the game as, as, as we as go by. As it flows, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, yeah. wow. Yeah. Let me first of all give a shout out to Melos STL. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Kibwana Swale, uh, Nimo as well. Oh, and by the way, Nimo, I'll tell you something about Nimo. Eh? Uh -huh. She's uh, the one who does this amazing shirt. Oh, wow, wow, wow. I mean, you see how good yeah, I'm looking, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Maybe we need to where transform do, Where do we pima? <laughs> <laughs> right away, it's yeah. called uh, Spot on Apparel. Sto Spot, Spot on, on Apparel. Spot on Apparel. Yeah. I'll connect you with her please, right away. Please, please, you know? please. And uh, Geoffrey Alemba as well watching. Rogers Kimwele. Thanks a lot, guys. Watching from Kahawa. All the best. And by the way, if you use any peptang product, let me know what you use. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, the CEO is right here. Yeah. So thanks a lot. So did you, ever, did you always envision yourself in leadership? Um, I think there's something, some, I, I believe people, some people are, you can be trained into leadership, mm -hmm. some are actually born yeah. into leadership. Yeah. Um, I think from class one I've been a prefect, or it's called what? The yeah. monitor in the class yes, and all that class stuff. Prefect, that, yes. <laughs> I was my high school head boy. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, yeah, the only thing I didn't do was yeah. campus. I didn't do any, anything. anything. Yeah. But I left that to my wife. She was the Sonu treasurer. Oh, yeah, at the University of Nairobi. Yeah, so still in the family. Still in the yeah. family. So, so yeah, so sort of the um, that it's 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 always been there. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, did I envisage if I said that today I'll probably be leading uh, such a, a large such a multinational corporation? Yeah, <laughs> I'll probably say no. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but thank God for 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 this far. Wow, yeah. lovely. Yeah, Gladys Ibrahim. Thanks a lot. You tuned in, Asante Sana. So you know. This is a multinational, I mean, because when I look at all the range of products which I'll be displaying, and, and I, I am sure some of our viewers can see even the most latest ones. Yeah. As I told you guys, you know, when I started, I'll tell you about something that you need to recharge yourself, some ginger, lemon, honey. No need to go and cook these things up and mess Not yourself anymore. up. Yeah. This is ready to go. Ready Take to go. Take it cold or warm. Warm. You can heat it. You Whichever can, the way. Uh, ambient temperature, the way it is. Up to you. I don't know, you know, my flow of questions now is already mixed up. <laughs> Let me just finish on that. So now, mm -hmm. this must have been one of your fiery brands, so especially during this season. I'll tell you, you know, yes. uh, when uh, everyone was complaining about Corona is here, business is going down, yeah. we were asking ourselves, mm -hmm. uh, there's always a silver lining, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what could be the opportunity amongst uh, within this adversity at yeah. the moment? And um, we, I mean, most of the Kenyans were going under the mattress with the eucalyptus and putting, you know, the, the steam <laughs> and all that stuff. Remember, yeah. Yeah? I have uh, gone through that. You've gone through it. I've done it myself. <laughs> my parents, in fact, if you go to my parents' house, you have to do it, man. Yeah. Yeah. So it qu helps quite a bit. And um, then there's cooking of the ginger, lemon, and honey, boiling all, you know, and all the evenings and all this things, stuff. Man. Then we thought, yeah, you know, um, the innovation steam, why yes. can't we... Make it easy for the consumer. You're right. You go home, yeah. you have it. If you want it hot, just put it in a microwave or yeah. just chemusha yeah. and you run with it. And, we run and with it. I mean, as soon as you take this thing and the way that ginger hits you here, yeah. uh, Rona just runs. <laughs> 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 I like that. Yeah. So no need to stain your, your, your pots there in the house, you know. Yeah. Ready to go, by yeah. the way. Yeah. And it's, it's already in the supermarkets. Nearest supermarket, Excellent. yeah, available. Yeah. Lovely, yeah. lovely. Wow, my yeah, goodness. Yeah. People are tuned in yeah. and uh, give me shout out. See ya, thanks yeah. a lot. Yeah. Hey, let me just read this one. Eh? Uh -huh. I know, I have jumped. I'm telling you, I'm a bit confused. <laughs> I think it's because of all the products you brought here. Yeah. Peptang was the tomato sauce of choice. Yeah. It still is, right? Yes, yes. Are you still doing tomato sauce? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. yes. At the, uh, he said what? That you need to return to also the, some other, the other original taste he's talking about. Uh -huh. I know. There's chili sauce as well. I love the brand, so give us back our product. I don't know what the original sauce she's talking about. Okay, I, I need to, I need to, I need to find out. You need to find out, yeah, right? Yeah, what, That's what okay, she's talking about. But yeah, yeah, all the all the products that we've done since yeah. 1935. Yes, we still have the same same product in we your still shelves. Still have them. Yeah, okay, yeah. so don't. So do not worry. Maybe yeah. you're the one Just who's going to somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome stuff. I'll get to the comments later on, guys. But let me know what you're watching and let me know what you take as well, courtesy of Peptan. I have a feeling everybody in this place as a peptide product. Mm -hmm. So let's get into now understanding and getting to know about the, you know, just premier foods. Yeah. So tell us about this company, yeah. just premier foods, yeah. uh, just in general in brief. Yeah. And, you know, we can talk about some of your range of products. I know you may not mention them all, yeah. but just a few that we have. Yeah. You know? yeah. So premier foods um, uh, is a constituent of the Aga Khan Development Network. Yeah. Um, under the IPS, mm -hmm. Industry Promotional Services, which yeah. is the infrastructure an industrial arm yeah. of the AKDN group. Yeah? Yeah. Um, so we have, you know, brands that have been in existence since 1935. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and we pride ourselves as a home of quality, mm -hmm. uh, doing a myriad of products from, 
you know, our flagship is the sources, right? Absolutely. So it's been our bread and butter, more, yeah. almost 50% of our business. Yeah. Um, so there's, of course, the sources comes in different ranges, chili sauce, mm -hmm. tomato sauce, mm -hmm. ketchup. Yeah. We do even pizza sauce yeah. for all our, for, you know, all the big chains for pizza. Mm -hmm. We supply them with our pizza sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so when you take your pizza, wherever you're taking. So that sweet thing is from you guys. Eh? from right. us, you know. Um, <laughs> We've uh, have the jam, peptide mm -hmm. jam. Yeah. I think somewhere here yeah. we have some canned stuff. We oh, have the, the jam is so common, by the way. Yes, I remember yes, growing up yes. with it as well. I still correct, have it. Correct, yes. correct, correct. <laughs> so jam, fantastic yeah. product. We yeah. have the baked beans for your breakfast in the morning. Oh, we have yeah. the tomato paste for your cooking. Yeah. With the vinegar. We have lime. We have <laughs> we have this juice that I really love. I really love Hopi yeah. Valley. Wow! Yeah, we have peanut butter. Have peanut butter. I My don't know. goodness, we have lime juice. We have as lime well. juice here. <laughs> I know. I know the guys who like the mixing. You know. Yes. The whiskey guy. Yeah. This, they will mix with some. With some lime as well. Wow. Yeah. Hey. I mean, you know, let, let me spare you because yeah. you can't mention uh, that. We we'll, we'll finish the program. I know. <laughs> mention the products. Mention the products. Yeah. Right? yeah. Goodness, yeah. do you use any of it? Let me know. <laughs> My yeah. goodness. Okay, so let's just get to know about the growth of the company, you know, yeah. just to where it is, because a lot of SMEs that come here really wish and really look forward to, you know, any secrets that may be there to, yeah. you know, to growth. Yeah. Uh, and I just want you to paint for us landscape. I know you're not just locally here. Yeah. That's why I use the word multinational. Yeah. Yeah. How large are you in terms of supplies? So we. We, we pride ourselves as uh, a company that has been able to, you know, not only uh, produce for consumption within the country, yes. but also, you know, bringing in the foreign currency mm -hmm. by taking our products to various places in the, in, the, in the world. Wow. So our biggest market, of course, is the East African market. Uh, Kenya, Tanzania, yeah. uh, South Sudan. South Sudan. Yeah, South Sudan. <laughs> amazing. It's been it's been an amazing uh, country yeah. for us. Mm -hmm. uh, Burundi and the likes. Yeah. We also take to Dubai, to Qatar, to wow. the UK. In fact, there's a lot of consumption of our chili sauce in the UK. It's amazing. Really? Yeah. It's out of this world. It's mind-boggling. Australia, uh -huh. Canada, the US. It's it's it's, it's I mean. We, we, <laughs> wherever you go, eh? You, you'll find Yeah, you'll find us. You'll find, you'll find our products. I mean, it's good to know um, that, yeah, by yeah. the way. And you know, I've just picked one of it here. It's called Habanero. Yes. That's I, how you pronounce it? Habanero chili, yeah? Habanero chili. Yeah. Where? Yeah. In the office, I just call it more fire. More fire. Yeah. This is the it's chili hot. that is just yeah. fire. Yeah. It's, it's quite hot. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, somebody should try, you know? <laughs> somebody should try this, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Just a dice. Well, I will not try it here <laughs> because I may not end up doing the show anymore. But anyway, wow. Yeah, yeah. So this is some of the range of products. Some of that the ranges of the products. Yeah. Um, yeah. And... Um, so we, we, we so from that supply to yeah. the various markets, yes. we also have this new sub supply chain linked to mm. our farmers yeah. back here in Kenya, yeah. um, who you know myriads of products they bring for us tomatoes, mm. they bring for us uh, the chilies, oh, the wow. you know the the strawberries that actually go into the fruits, the red, the plums, uh, from the you know different areas, yeah. and we also have you know like our orchid valley juice, for example the mango, yeah. We have a crushing plant for mango, so oh. we actually produce pulp um, out of it. That yeah, uh, that, yeah that mm -hmm. is used to make the juices, and okay. we actually sell um, a big chunk of that pulp to different companies oh. within within the country. Lovely. And one of our biggest customers is actually Cook uh, okay. themselves. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we also make those yeah, products. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we even ship to Europe and other overseas overseas countries. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, so we partner with farmers to, for example, do the mango planting. Yeah, you know, passion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we we do a lot of yellow passion. Yeah, um, it's still not enough. I, I I encourage people to grow this 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 is one uh, fruit. Yes, that I just can't get enough. <laughs> I know, know, right? Yeah, we just can't get enough. So guys just need to go and try mm -hmm. understand this product and mm -hmm. actually grow them. We can actually support in terms of seedlings and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. But Lovely. we want a lot of yellow passion. Lovely. Yeah. And you know, we're encouraging people, you know, listen, yeah. go back to the firms. There's a lot of things you can do outside yeah, there. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. you know, I, I, as you're speaking, I'm just thinking, so directly, definitely you have employees you've employed. I would yes. want to know the number. Yeah. And then there's definitely the number you can't keep of the indirect people who yeah. just supply things yeah. to you. Yeah. Yeah. So what numbers do you have in your company? We, we are, so it depends. We are at a five, 500 strong workforce. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Um, during, 500. That's yeah. not a small number. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, during a peak, you know, it goes whenever we have... Uh, 
the seasons where the mangoes are spiking and all that, mm -hmm. we can have up to 600, 700, yeah. depends on, yeah. the, on the season. But yeah, okay. Okay. an average of 500 strong workforce, yeah. most of whom are actually from within our area of Babadogo. Yeah. 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 And it's, it's amazing uh, blending with the community around Lovely. there. Lovely. Absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. of course, creating employment for yeah. these guys. Absolutely. My goodness. Yeah. Okay. So still more on the, on the company. So uh, how would you describe the business environment? Of course, definitely, let's start local because, as I said, I host a lot of SMEs here yeah. who are first of all local, most of yeah. them are just here, and yeah. of course hoping to grow big like mm -hmm. you are. Mm -hmm. But before we get to the journey of how to scale up, mm -hmm. how is the environment so far here? Are there some challenges you see, yeah. things you could improve? Yeah. But so far from where you see it, how is it? Um, I would say, you know, the environment is... Um, is how you see it, mm -hmm. in my opinion. The, uh -huh. It can be tough if you want it to be tough, <laughs> yeah? Um, hey. it, it can, you can make it uh, look like a walk in the park as well, if you yeah. want to, yeah? Yeah. Um, the thing is just knowing how to maneuver. For example, if you're in the, in the, in the space that we're in, food yeah. manufacturing and distribution, for example. Yeah. Um, if you're an SME and you want your product to go out there, mm -hmm. how have you planned your, your distribution channels, for You're example. Right. What kind of partners are you partnering with? Absolutely. There are partners who can make your life hell and mm -hmm. your product will never penetrate. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And then there are partners who you meet eh, and mm -hmm. they are part of your business and you make them feel a part of your business. Yeah. And especially by how, you know, the kind of margins you give, yeah. how you treat them um, when there are any, you know, kind of issues within the pipeline. Mm -hmm. And you tend to forge a partnership between yeah. the business and them. They are actually part of you. Wow. They are actually part of your business. And then they tend to make them the business environment smooth. Okay. But if you go to the, you know, the macro, micro, uh, economic uh, you know, environment, some mm -hmm. could be out of your control. You know? right. Yeah. Right. Uh, today, you are grappling, for example, where I sit, mm -hmm. is hotels are a big portion mm -hmm. of our market. Very true. So can you imagine yeah. the whole tourism yeah. industry being you know, uh, suppressed because of the uh, travel the restrictions as yeah. a result of the coronavirus mm -hmm. uh, pandemic? Yeah? Yes. So the question is, that segment of my market, almost 20, 25% of my top line, mm. it's coming from this segment. Mm. And all of a sudden, there's no inflow coming from this segment. It's nothing happening. Should I start crying and say, you know, things are crazy, no. I need to, we need to lay people off, blah, blah, blah. No. How do you reinvent yourself um, within such adversities? Yeah? You're right. That's how the dowers of this world That's come. That's how the dowers are here now. The recharge. Come in, recharge down. <laughs> you have to reach, you even recharge the business now. Eh? Absolutely. Yeah, and you realize that even, um, without knowing the opportunities that you actually didn't know exist. Yeah. But it's because of such moments that yeah. bring out the best in, in, in you and the company. You're right? right. You're right. Yeah. So if you're asking me about the environment, yeah. yes, it's, 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 it's up to you, man. It's how, it's how you see it. <laughs> it can be hard. Mm -hmm. It can be easy. I like it. Yeah. Man, you know, I'm just thinking, I sometimes sitting at the helm there yeah. has a lot of challenges because... Yeah. And we're going to talk about challenges and how you guys did uh, navigate through the COVID-19 because we're still there though, yeah. still trying to recover. It calls for a lot of innovation yeah. because you're here, you have your over 500 employees and guys who are benefiting from you indirect. Yeah. Yeah. And so a lot of people are looking up to you, man, on correct. the decisions you'll make. Correct, you know? correct, correct. And you've talked about you know, thinking and innovating, but mm. is, it, is there a lot of pressure there for you? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, you know, um, Sometimes I feel, when you're at the helm, you feel like you're a father yeah. and you have a lot of children. Absolutely. And it's your responsibility to actually ensure these people eat yeah. and um, they, they're in a good frame of mind. Absolutely. When corona f uh, hit, yeah. there was a lot of stress within the work environment. Mm -hmm. People, you know, you could hear companies are shutting down, people yeah. are losing jobs, and they create anxiety. Yeah. Among, amidst this, how do you ensure that your people are, you know, are, Still going on. Uh, eh? Still going on. Yeah. You know, uh, without worrying about without, losing this job. In fact, that's the word. Without yeah. worry. Yeah. To ensure that um, uh, they still put you know food on the table. Yeah. So, like you said, you have to. For me, you have to keep innovating. Any company, you stop innovating, you die. Yeah. You have to keep reinventing yourself. Yeah. Um, putting their ear on on the ground. Eh? What does the consumer want? Yeah. And actually living up to that every other day. So if, for for me. That for me, that daddy feeling, yeah, yes, 
Uh, and even when I look at my children every day, yeah. I know I have a huge responsibility to yeah. handle. And I can't afford to let these people down. So that, <laughs> sure. when you ask for pressure, that's pressure for me. That's pressure yeah, for Yeah, and you. I love it. I love Absolutely. it. It's why, it's why I wake up every day. And it does, it's not just about my, 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 my people or my yeah. employees or all that stuff. Yeah. That, you know, small-scale farmer down there. Eh? Absolutely. You know, Who has to supply. Has to, to supply. Yeah. And to be able to take that kid to school, You're you right. know, I yeah. relate. You're right. Because that was me well, one time, right? Absolutely. It's the pressure. Yeah, it's, it's there. there but it's I there. Have, I, yeah, you just have to carry it. <laughs> you know, we, you know we, and that's why I dubbed this subject today on uh, just really, we use the word leadership because yeah. we want to really as well, you know, get as much from you on how to lead inside Sky at particular yeah. times. So let me know your experience with Peptang. What do you use, by the way? You never know. Maybe I might give you something. Uh, he came with a lot of things. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, but anyway, I mean, that, that's interesting to look through. And, you know, now that you've touched a little bit on the, on the challenges, mm -hmm. I just wanted to, to point out some of the challenges that you, you know, Benny Leadership Festival, and, but based on the company, company challenges that you face so far. You're a multinational man. Yeah. Uh, I know I'll be talking about crisis later on, but basis, some of the challenges you face. So I think, especially now, the biggest challenge has been unpredict unpredictability of the environment. Absolutely. Yeah? Um, it's very uncertain, by the way. Very, very uncertain. Because mm -hmm. I'll tell you, for example, there, there, there's some in ingredients that we actually import yeah. and bring into the country. Yeah. But some of these chaos in the international logistics market, mm -hmm. there are no containers. I don't know what is happening. Oh some people are holding. I don't know what is happening there. <laughs> what you used containers. to get, can you imagine what you used to get in a month? Yeah. You're now getting in four, five months. Oh, no. So if you are not stocked well, you yeah. go on stock outs. And you know, that means you. You actually stocked out in the shelves. Yeah. Um, and I normally tell my team, eh, yeah. never ever give a chance mm -hmm. for my customer yeah. to test competition product. Yeah. yeah. Never. So you can <laughs> never be stocked they, they, they out. They might go. You know? You, know? <laughs> you know, you can order the other one and think, okay, <laughs> it's, it's not else. bad. Eh? No, no. <laughs> no. But I want them to know that the yeah. number one quality, the one product that they've always had is, you know, Pepta. Yeah. And now having this unpredictable environment, mm -hmm can actually lead you to positions where you can't even avail the product to the to that consumer. Absolutely. So Absolutely. that's that's been a that's been a, a, a key true. challenge, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Um, then there's been, you know, interborder uh, issues. Yeah, now that you're yeah, crossing borders, yeah, you're crossing, right. yeah, to our sister, uh, you know, countries, countries. Uh, across. Eh? Yeah, there are there are, there are <laughs> challenges. You know, there are challenges. Sometimes. They're all over the news. Yeah. I've seen. I'm You've sure seen, you must eh? have faced some challenges accessing yeah. this market. So especially, I think in the last year or so, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's a bit tough. You could even stay at the border for a couple of days. You have to pay the transporter for all those days. It wipes out everything that you are supposed to yeah. be to be getting from from actually transporting across, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. um, and actually making penetration into those markets very, very tough. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm actually happy now that the environment is a bit, is, is better, you know, a bit, okay, of course the pandemic is still affecting, mm -hmm. you can yeah. have lockdowns in, in Uganda here and there mm -hmm. that is affecting consumption. Yeah. Yeah, so those are the things. Today, for mm -hmm. example, yeah. I don't even know how we're gonna sell during the December season. Because, mm -hmm. you know, December in all industries yes, is the it's, biggest it's, month. It's the biggest month. It's a festival month. People are buying. Think about it this year. Kids will be in school until 23rd of December. Oh. Those are the oh. biggest driver of, cons of consumption. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What happens now no, in such I a case? I see your point. You get, I see yeah? your point. Yeah. So it's, it's, the environment has just been jumbled up. So mm -hmm. it's a question of how do we as business people adapt? Yeah. So I have to deliver a big December today. And yeah. that's the task I give to the team today. We have to deliver a big December as usual, mm -hmm. even with the kids in school. Absolutely. How are you going to do it? Hey. That's the question. <laughs> yeah, you're right, because yeah. kids, when they're at home, definitely yeah. buying power, yeah. all those kind of things. Exactly. December is the month uh, to do all these things. Yeah. 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 What about competition? Do you, do you have competition? <laughs> I'm telling you, it's cutthroat. <laughs> it's cutthroat. <laughs> it's eh? cutthroat competition. I love um, I think the last three or four years, mm. somehow people realize they can make sauces or something. Yeah. Everyone is cooking from the kitchen, from the garage, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and there are millions of small brands that, uh, that some, some not even compliant with the, with, with with the, the, with the, with regulation. the regulations and, yeah. uh, you know, cab standards and all this. Yeah. Yeah? And um, the problem is the wallet, the Kenyan's uh, consumer's wallet has, yeah. is really thin at the moment. Yeah, you're right. And the guy is asking myself, should I go to that premium pep tank? Yeah. 
or I just take anything red on the street mm -hmm. to be able to put on that chips. Yeah. Because I cannot, you know, there's, there's no much money to spare. You're right. You know? Yeah. So such, such you know, with, with the dwindling now consumer power. Absolutely. Now that's affecting our consumption, you know? Mm -hmm. And the competition now is not even, you know, the peer competition, the, the one that would go head to head. Yeah. Is actually this... Um, so, uh, guys masquerading guys. as you know. uh, <laughs> industries, eh? but not yeah. not providing, mm -hmm. not ch taking care, especially for the, of the health of the consumer. Yeah, you know, as, on the way they are actually making these products. Mm -hmm. But because the consumer is looking at it from a from a financial perspective, as yeah. opposed to quality, mm -hmm. then these people actually become competition to us. Okay, I you see know? that. Yeah, I see that. And actually, if you ask me, it, it's actually a rallying call for me yeah. to the authorities eh? yeah. to actually not necessarily protect me. I, I don't mind competition. Yes. I, my quality will take care of that. You're right. Right? Yeah. But I want the authorities to protect the consumer. Absolutely. Yeah. From because a health perspective. Know. Yeah. Yeah. From a the, health the, perspective. Yeah, from a health perspective. And even the competition needs to be fair as yeah, well. It, exactly. The regulations that yeah. you have to pay, yeah. somebody else needs to also exactly. go through I pay taxes. Yes. I, I, I go through all the, you know, the, 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 the requirements that are being done. Yeah. This, they don't incur those costs. You're right. Okay? You're right. Um, making from whatever whatever, whatever conditions they are. that you're making from. <laughs> eh? Yeah, and okay. so that doesn't give. That's why you can be able to offer a very low, you know, price. Yeah. That I can never do. That you can never do if I'm doing a straight business. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to ask you a question yeah. about building trust yeah. because, you know, as I said, growing up, I see pep tongue on the yeah. table. Yeah. As a child, so definitely yeah. whenever I go. Yeah. I'm only looking for the brand I know. Yeah. What, what's your advice? Because now we're shifting to advising SMEs about building, um, you know, a trust mm -hmm. with your customer. Yeah. What would you say and advise them? For me, it's simple. Mm -hmm. You have to anchor yourself on quality. Quality. Anchor yourself on quality and be consistent. Yeah. Over, over and over. Mm -hmm. Somehow that brand love just emanates. Once I know that Peptang Honey is you know, a quality honey, I know, and you know, the consumer needs to know yeah. that the, it's authentic, yeah. it's been, it's, it's done the right way, mm -hmm. and that message is hammered to the consumer over and over, persistently, over a period of time. Yeah. And every time they take your product, mm -hmm. it's the same, same consistent quality, yeah. it's, and, and, and you've been the same. I can yeah. say my tomato sauce is the same since 1935. Yes, you know? the same, yes. Yeah, <laughs> so we've built, we built a relationship with the consumer. Mm -hmm. So for an SME, I would say just the same thing. Anchor yourself on quality. Yeah. Be consistent wow. in doing the same. Yeah. And constantly engage with your consumer. You're right. If there's any complaint mm -hmm. from a consumer, mm -hmm. please tackle it with the speed it deserves. Let the consumer know yeah. that he's king. For me, customer is king. Absolutely. It's the reason we exist. It's the You're reason right. we do business. You're right. So if uh, my customer is not happy, mm -hmm. then... All of us are not happy. Okay. Yeah. And it's going to kill the brand. So speaking of which, you know, as I said, and I know we had a chant before, they say that only tall trees face strong winds. Yeah. You're up there in the market, man. Yeah. You're, yeah. you're a multinational, definitely. Yeah. yeah. It means uh, you face crisis most of the times. It could be genuine. Yeah. Some are just malicious. Yeah. Some are those competitors who are feeling like, Allah, we need to try and Bring make this look down. funny, you know, all those mm -hmm. kind of things. Mm -hmm. First of all, do you face such things? <laughs> You'll always face them. You'll always as long face as you know, the the somebody gave an analogy of a of a of a, of a tree with you know fruits. Yeah. You, that's the one that gets stones, right? Yeah. So that you get the fruit down or something. Yeah. yeah. So it's a similar similar thing. Mm -hmm. When 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 you're doing a good job in the market, yeah. Somebody will always want. There will always be those malicious ones mm -hmm. doing things to probably tarnish your your uh -huh. name. Eh? Uh -huh. But like I said. What has helped us is that, that brand name and brand loyalty. Yes. Even if you try to do whatever, it's uh -huh. ring, fenced, ring fenced by the fact that whenever we churn out products into the, into the shelves, into the market, into the consumer space, yeah. somebody knows that this is coming from the home of quality. Mm -hmm. There's that trust that you already built. Absolutely. That helps to, you know, to cement that. Yeah. So even if you throw stones from whatever distance, <laughs> yeah, we, we have this armor that You're tends right. to shield us from, right. from all this noise and Okay. And things like that. Okay. Yeah. And so I hope you're taking some tips there. Let me just read a comment from yeah, someone sure. who heard you speak. Yeah. He's saying, this is Austin, he's saying, you know, a 
at my brother, you should not call Peptec a baby. Please tell him this is a very big brand out here. <laughs> <laughs> so I think he's a grown up, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think you had that one. Yeah. Thanks for Geoffrey Lemba as well, following on YouTube as yeah. well. Let me know where you are checking us from. Thanks so much for those kind of things, you know. So we're talking about dealing maybe with Maybe cancer. I should answer you. You should answer I call him. It, I, I call it my baby because I eat, sleep, drink Peptec. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's it, there you have it. Yeah, there, yeah, yeah. that's a good answer. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's the baby. You yeah, know? Yeah. yeah, a baby will always be a baby whether yes, they want, yes, isn't it? Yes, yes. In fact, somebody said uh, whether you are you grow old to what age, you still remain a baby to your parents. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So uh, since 1935, yes, still my baby. Still your baby, yeah, yeah. even before you were born. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I yeah, like that. Yeah. Okay. So you know, I I think we have jumped into now just helping SMEs, and I had some few questions that I put down for just helping a little bit of our SMEs. Mm -hmm. um, values, mm -hmm. first of all, and yeah. now we're talking to, really, because SMEs are led by people, mm -hmm. and you know, you have seen this kind of journey growth as well, mm -hmm. of such a multi-big company, mm -hmm. you know, multinational company, mm -hmm. and so there are definitely some values we would want to pick out from you as mm -hmm. well from mm -hmm. that, and so I, uh, some of the questions that came through from people as mm -hmm. well is, mm -hmm. uh, how would you describe your leadership style? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Um, you know, I, 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 so when I was doing my MBA, there mm -hmm. were those styles they were talking about autocratic, I don't know what. They are, <laughs> <laughs> my style is easy. Your style is easy. Very easy. I, am, I, I empower teams. Wow. I let, the, I, let the, I, let the, I let, I let people do their job. Yeah. 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 You know, somebody, somebody was leaving the company the other day. Yeah. And he says, Working with Joseph makes life so easy because wow. he lets you do your thing. Yeah. For him, yeah. he just asks you for results. Wow. At the end of the day. Results. It's results. Just so, right? bring the results. Then, so that's the thing. Just empower your teams. Let, let, let people have the autonomy mm -hmm. to make decisions. Mm -hmm. yeah? And there's nothing as good as when you know you're doing something, yes. you're running it. Mm -hmm. So you tend to own it. You own it. So I'll, come, I'll, I'll only come for guidance, probably a few questions that can actually trigger some thoughts from you, right. yeah? Right. To be able to see whether we're still on the right track or some, you need to navigate in a certain direction. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, f it's as simple as that. I like let, that. Let the teams roll. And I think my take out from that is empower teams. Yeah, yeah, empower the yeah, teams. Yeah, you know, they, they will own up whatever Absolutely. they do. Absolutely. Absolutely. Lovely there. Yeah. Very good answer there. Yeah. Um, what values are most important to you as a leader? Do you ascribe to some? Definitely, I know there are some. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so different, so the integrity is key. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, in, definitely. in, in whatever it is that you do. Mm -hmm. That's why even churning out products yes. have to be, you know, don't cut shortcuts. Yeah, yeah the quality so that you've promised people must be the same. You have to deliver on the same. Yeah. yeah. So that element of trust has to be built from, mm -hmm. from, from that. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm also very, I'm a loyal guy, very yeah. fiercely loyal, right? Yeah. Uh, both to... Anything I do, eh, mm -hmm. I, I give it my all. I normally say I work like I'm working for God. Wow. Yeah. So it's you know, actually, the yeah. Bible has yeah. a place for that. You yeah. Know? yeah. Yeah. Work yeah. unto yeah. Him. Yeah. Unto so, Him. Yeah. And then the rest of the things fall in place. Yeah. 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 Um, you see, every day, yeah. every day I come to the work to grind. Mm -hmm. eh? If if you are not a self starter as mm -hmm. an as an individual and yeah. always have to be pushed and things like that and you're mm -hmm. not you know, self-propelling, mm -hmm. I'm promising you, you're never going to go in. In fact, you'll labor all your life. Yeah. For me, mm -hmm. I call this play. I enjoy what I do. Wow. Yeah. So. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. That's actually a very good value. Yeah. You know, you have to love what you do. Just love it. Just yeah. love it. Once you love what you do, eh? Yes. You never, somebody <laughs> said you never have to work a day in your life. <laughs> it's I as simple that. as that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Dive in. Be yeah. loyal. Yeah. And I love the fact that you talked about integrity. And we need that because honestly, which is a value, and allow me to just dig deeper into this, because yeah. they, there's a lot of uh, erosion of values that's happening. Mm -hmm. And I'll say this, when for the last, let's say, five, six, seven years, mm -hmm. uh, headlines on our news mm -hmm. is about corruption. Mm -hmm. This one stole this, mm -hmm. this one stole that. Mm -hmm. All those kind of things, mm -hmm. shortcuts, all that. Somebody mm -hmm. has become a billionaire by the day, all yeah, those kind of yeah, things. Yeah. I think we are bringing up a generation that now believes just get the deal and yeah. you're done. And yeah. now there's no more hard work of those yeah. kind of things. Yeah. Have you noticed that? It's very sad. It's very sad. In fact, yeah. there was some point where 
um, the most popular degree was procurement. <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden, yeah. all of a sudden, yeah, because it's the place to eat. It's the place to eat, man. <laughs> it's sad. Yeah, it's sad. Oh, it's it's extremely it's extremely sad. Yeah, but, yeah, and you know, the, it doesn't help because the helm of our leadership, mm -hmm. say in our either corporates or in in governments, mm -hmm. have shown that you take these positions yeah. to enrich yourselves, yeah. which is a bad thing. And yeah. so the, the, what happens, you know, kids don't necessarily, or when we grow up, we most of the time we learn from emulating Absolutely. what, what, the, what? The, the elders are doing, right? Yeah. So yeah. That's exactly what they're seeing. You're right. And that's why there's a whole queue on uh, procurement. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, see, I see what you're yeah, talking I'm about. Telling hey, you. that's an interesting finding. Yeah. I'll check it out by then and <laughs> give you more serious yeah. facts on yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. What do you attribute to your success so far? Definitely the fact that you, and this is why now I'm bringing another story. You were on the news the other day. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you very much. It's a nomination or what we call it. Is it, is it a nomination? Appointment. It's an appointment. Yeah. And you're going to be heading Unga Group Limited. Yeah. Lovely, man. Congrats, yeah. man. Yeah. Asante. This is Asante. raising the radar. Yeah. So yeah. What, what do you attribute to this success, bro? Um, so God, God. God, God, God is big in me, in my life. Yeah? Wow, lovely. It's um, good to know. Uh, I attribute everything to Him. Yeah. And um, I, 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 I always say, you know, once you love whatever it is that you do. Yeah. If today I'm selling uh, all the Peptang products, yes. and I own it, it's mine. Because yeah. um, that's why I probably use the word my baby. Yes, yeah? your baby. I wake absolutely. up and drink, eat, and do, yeah. do what I, you know, what I do. Yeah. It's the same thing. If tomorrow I was go to sell. You know, flour. It's yeah. the same, same, the same thing. thing. I'll, I'll embrace it with me, with yeah. with, with, with all of me, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, just being consistent, trying to exemplify excellence in in, in all all that I do. Wow. And the most important thing is mm -hmm. to to work with people. Mm -hmm. I, I I I enjoy working with great teams, yeah. building great teams. Absolutely. And I actually attribute pr probably all all my success to. To the people, so sometimes when you are at the top, you tend to people tend to take the accolades. You're you're, you're shining. Yeah. I didn't come up with Dow. You did not. Somebody yeah. worked very hard somewhere a in a lab in an industry. Those Absolutely. are the people. Th so the question is, how do you bring out the best in those people? Yeah. So that they, all of us shine at the end of the you're day. Right. You're right. Yeah. You're right. So, so it's as simple as that. As it's you the put team it, that empower grow, your makes team. you grow. Yeah. Just empower them. Let them do their thing. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, all of us will be happy. Everyone grows <laughs> as a result. You know? So w when when do you take the helm uh, uh, of your new assignment that is coming? The new assignment starts on first of December. Okay. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, now it's, to the it's still, it's still so, so you're, you're gonna be still in people's homes. <laughs> still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we still we still, and you know, both and it's amazing because both both entities are. Of heritage brands. You're right. We are over 80 years for both of them. No, absolutely. Uh, Unga as well as been Unga. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what we grew up on, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I guess exciting times ahead. Okay. Yeah. Before we go back to businesses, I still want to still stick to your position and leadership. Um, so what do you do to motivate your team, especially during a time of crisis like you had now? Yeah. Um, so, you know, first first thing for uh, especially in times of crisis is actually to ensure that they, there's no worry people yeah. are calm yeah. right yeah um they need to know that the the jobs are secure yeah uh, and uh, you know they, they, they they're gonna still enjoy what they're doing yeah. without any fear absolutely but most importantly is uh, you know a lot of reward for performance yeah if somebody performs well yeah they should be rewarded mm -hmm. and that's what i normally say people mm -hmm. should share in the cake very true most of the times people in business mm -hmm. tend to want to keep everything to themselves <laughs> not knowing yeah. that if you share yeah the size of the pie even becomes bigger even becomes because bigger. This, me and you are gonna toil hard eh, to just get that extra bonus or yeah you know, that token of appreciation absolutely yeah so that's that's one of the you know biggest motivators Love and um, for me mm -hmm. like i said i'm very easy yeah. you'll find me on the floor yes uh, at the factory uh -huh. uh, <laughs> to just so uh, it's just going to the people and be just being with them yeah, with the people. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah you're not in some 
glass ceiling or something. Okay. Yeah, you be on the ground with the people. It's a simple okay. that, yeah. It's a tough question here. Mm -hmm. Describe one of your biggest failures and you know some of the lessons you learned out of it and that contributed now to your success. Wow, wow, <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs> biggest failure. Yeah. Um <sighs> is failure a very big word. It, no, it's okay. It's uh, actually good. <laughs> I'm just trying to yeah to 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 to, to you, you know, I have pick, a friend pick. who said I don't keep a record of my feelings, yeah. but please don't, 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 don't throw that light. Can I borrow from him? <laughs> I'd, I'd like to just pick the positives and run with the positives. Those are these failures. You know, um, yeah. I think one, probably from, from where I sit today, yeah. we have uh, ready-to-drink juice. Yeah, um, absolutely. It's called pep, uh, very uh -huh. small. I don't know if we have it here. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I... It's... I don't know if whether I didn't, we didn't market it well, we didn't do whatever it needs, because it's a very good product. Yeah. Said. And I put a sleeve, mm -hmm. a full sleeve around the bottle. Oh. Okay? And somebody said, uh, one of my business mentors, told me, mm -hmm. I think you should make sure the product is seen as much Someone as possible. see what you Yeah. But I told him, I want to try. I want to try and fail myself. <laughs> then I know. And I actually <laughs> failed. I think I failed. I didn't, I, I didn't quite achieve the sales. We sold, yes? Yeah. But it didn't balloon or hit as it should have. As it should have. And uh, today as we speak, yeah. I'm working on a sleeve that is half <laughs> humble. <laughs> I ate a humble pike and went yes. to, went to tell this guy, yeah. you were right. All so right. sometimes it's also good to listen to wise counsel. Uh, to wise counsel. This yeah. guy has been in business for long. Yeah. And he told me, let the product show. People and I wanted want to see what they're taking. What their content of what they're taking. Mm. But I thought I had a very sexy sleeve <laughs> that I wanted to show the market. Pull it back. Yeah, pick the learnings yes. and move on. You know? Wow. Yeah. Wow, lovely. That's why in the DAWA now you can be able to see the product and all that. Yeah. Yeah. There's something called PFIL scholarship that you guys, uh, it's a program that you learn as a yeah. PFIL scholarship yeah. program. Yeah, yeah. Um, you give it to your employees. What, what is this all about? So um, it's one of the things I'm that touch my heart, okay. and which I'm really proud of. Yeah. Um, so every year, mm -hmm. kids, our kids of the, you know, our factory workers, wow. uh, mm -hmm. do KCP. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. And um, so most of the times, you know, it's, it's, I mean, it's, the school fees is not cheap. Yeah. And we, what we do is we select a few mm -hmm. who've done very well. Yeah. And um, we know probably, you know, uh, the parents need support as well mm -hmm. from a financial perspective mm -hmm. to be able to take those kids to school. Yeah. Yeah, and we've managed to take several now to various high schools. Yeah. And every time I sign those checks, it's, it just gives me so much satisfaction because I know what education can do to a You're kid right. and transform life. You're I'm right. a product of what education has done yeah. to, to, to change my life. Yes. You're if right. I can do that to another kid, mm -hmm. anytime, uh, uh, I mean... I would, I would do it 10 times. I wish the budget could even allow so that we just take all the, you know, as many, yeah. as many kids as possible. <laughs> but the little we do, yeah. I, I, I mean, has, has gone a long way. And I like the fact that uh, the team actually appreciates what, yeah. what we do for them. Okay, yeah. lovely, lovely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let me shoot back because there's some questions as well to, uh, from SMEs here. Yeah. Um, does Premier Foods collaborate with SMEs? And if so, how? Do you collaborate? So yeah, it's from a supply perspective. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. We, if you come as an SME and tell me, or you know, meet our procurement team and say we can be able to supply yes. tomatoes for yeah. you at this rate and meet your quality standards. Mm -hmm. the, I mean, the guys we work with today are SMEs. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So um, they, they are those who bring for us honey. Yeah. They are those who, you know do cont you know small contracts here and there mm -hmm. they're the ones probably fixing the pavements and yeah. doing mm -hmm. so we have we have lots of that so yeah uh, from a supply perspective mm -hmm. uh, lots of our suppliers are actually smes and yeah. individuals yeah yeah lovely mm. so send in your questions we have about 10 minutes before we end so i can answer some of the questions do you have any question for our guest today ceo peptan still using that name because that's what he's known. <laughs> yeah. And uh, guys telling me they have products in their homes. Thanks Fantastic. a lot for all those things that you're talking about. Yeah. So let me just shoot in some of the questions that have come in. I'm just sieving some through. Mm -hmm. So a lot of them are a bit personal so that at least you can help us with, uh, you know, as we say today, we are going to milk you dry. <laughs> How do you respond to criticism personally? Uh, 
uh, I think somebody said even to unhappy customers. How do you respond? So one I'm sure you have seen somebody like Gutoli, what is this? Yeah. <laughs> what crap is this, you know? <laughs> I know. So, yeah. So um, the one thing I normally say is, uh, especially when, when, when somebody is agitated or they are they're, they're, they're mad at you or they, you know, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. You always have to be low. You have to come, you, you, you have to try to neutralize the situation at any yeah. point in time. If yeah. both of you are here, mm -hmm. it's, it's just going to be an explosion out I of know, this right? one. Eh? So it's going to be fire now. Yeah, we, yeah, we are so humble. I wanted we, to use the word, it's going to be habanero. habanero. It's going to be fire. Yeah, it's going to be fire. <laughs> yeah. So we, I mean, just humble yourself. Is, yeah. is, um, take feedback. Take feedback. Positively. Yeah? Yes. Uh, you know, criticism, mm -hmm. you know, in fact, I like the people who criticize us because they make us, you know, do a better thing. Yeah. As opposed to somebody who's just telling you you're doing very well and, and you never have to improve yourself. Yeah. So if I know today there's a spec in my product or something, I yeah. need to do what we call the root cause analysis yeah. to understand how that happened and how can I seal that forever, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. that it never recurs again. Yeah. So we, we take it positively. Mm -hmm. any, any feedback? Negative or positive, mm -hmm. and especially negative, yeah. we take it as, uh, I mean, positively, yeah. and um, just go back and try to understand where is that customer coming from. Mm -hmm. um, if it's them, we need to educate them so that they understand what is our, you know, sometimes I'll tell you, for example, honey. Yeah. yeah. Honey is a product, if you even Google now, it'll tell you that naturally yeah. it crystallizes and becomes Absolutely. hard, right? Yeah, it becomes hard, yeah. I can tell you 90% of people don't know that. And if it know. crystallizes, they it to just remain smooth, smooth and, and whatever <laughs> and flowy. Yeah. And if it crystallizes today, they'll tell you you guys are putting sugar. I get that complaint <laughs> all the time. You're adding sugar. You're adding sugar. <laughs> and you know, in the Europe, yeah, what the one that crystallizes yeah. is more expensive. Allah, I'm telling that's you, that's what they want. That's what they want. <laughs> so it's there's a lot of consumer <laughs> education of, that needs to happen. Consumer you know? information. They need yeah, to know that. Yeah. But before that happens, you already take a serious beating. <laughs> and now managing that is... How about one to sukari? One to sukari, in molasses. Yeah, the things <laughs> they say is crazy. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's interesting that consumer information is really needed, as yeah, you say. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you have a way of measuring your own performance at work? Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. If it's not measurable, then we're not doing it in the first place. You're not doing it. Yes, I love yes, that. yes. <laughs> there have to be clear KPIs yes. that uh, you track. Yeah. You know, these are the milestones you need to reach. Mm -hmm. And you, I normally say, I don't, I don't put what we can achieve. Yeah. We stretch ourselves to the maximum. Wow. I want to know that uh, we've, 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 we've tried to exhaust the tank as much yeah. as possible. As much as possible. Reach. So the strategy we were working on, we dubbed it the moonshot strategy. Mm -hmm. We were aiming for the moon. Yeah. It's not the easiest. It's not a walk in the park. For mm -hmm. you to go to the moon, yeah. you have to stretch yourself to... Yeah. to limits probably you've never imagined that you can do. Absolutely. And it's in such moments that you realize, oh my God, I can actually do bigger things than I actually thought mm -hmm. my capability would you yeah. know, take me. Yeah. 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 So wow. clear KPI is always there. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody here, let me just mention the name, yeah. Philem Philemon Kimweni. That's yeah. my boss. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. See, among your 500. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hi, Philemon. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Um, so some more questions here as well. Um, is there something you see leaders, especially in business, doing today that we should not condone? Whatever comment you have on that. Um, some things that we do you see leaders doing yeah. maybe, maybe from where you see it yeah. maybe mistakes they do something and you know yeah. now nah, you uh, shouldn't do yeah, this yeah. no pr probably handling crisis yeah. uh, probably could handle crisis different yeah. uh -huh. sometimes we are too quick to say things are thick and fold up eh? yeah. um, the thing is I want people to think from the implications of what you're doing mm -hmm. what is the consequences to the families right. of the people who are working with you mm. um, and what is the trickle effect uh, trickle down effect of that yeah you know for every employee probably that is working with you mm -hmm. for me mm -hmm. i affect a lot of families mm -hmm. yeah Absolutely. that employee yeah. probably is dependent probably from the village uh, it could it be the away. star of the village and probably helping and so you're what right. is the implication of our mm -hmm. quick decisions yeah. that uh, are probably not just based on numbers and uh -huh. sometimes not yeah uh, um, with an intuit, a bit of heart yeah. to it. You're right. Yeah, that would be my core. Okay. Yeah. So there's another one here. I think you talked about results. I think mm -hmm. he, he took that from you. Mm -hmm. Then he says, how do you monitor this performance uh, of these people that you lead? 
so that you can ensure you have those results that you've talked about. Yeah, so, uh, you know, the beauty, now, the beauty with clear, measurable uh, performance on. indicators eh? okay. mm -hmm. um, is that you can track them. Okay. You, know, you know what milestones you are hitting every other time. Yeah. And in an organization, mm -hmm. it's always layered, right? Absolutely. From the top there, this yeah. one has a, a team of, say, five. Yeah. This one has a team of seven. Mm -hmm. And probably on a monthly or a quarterly basis, you always touch posts with your leader yeah. to say, this is where we are mm -hmm. and where we are going. Yes. I can tell you, for example, I have a dashboard that uh -huh. I look at every morning. Even uh -huh. before I came here, uh -huh. Sami had already sent the <laughs> dashboard. Yeah? Yeah. And I look at what did we do yesterday. Mm -hmm. I can tell you now yes. how much I sold yesterday, how much of Orchid Valley I sold wow. yesterday. Just it like is that it. granular mm -hmm. kind of detail that okay. helps you know yeah. um, how you steer the business and mm -hmm. how am I going to exit. Yeah. Like as of yesterday, I knew, I was talking to my head of sales and I'm telling you, we have a lot to catch up. I'm behind of what, on what I need to exit at this wow. month. Wow. Yeah? So because of the indicator, that, the lagging indicator that has been given, mm -hmm. I already know Mm -hmm. what we need to do, yeah. or what kind of promotions we need to run yeah. to be able to catch up, mm -hmm. to be able to exit a month at a certain growth vis-a-vis -vis right. last year or vis-a-vis -vis target. You know? Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, mm -hmm. that's a good question, man. Um, uh, so it was monitoring your performance is another one here. What are the most effective ways you have used to create an inclusive environment for your team? <laughs> it's, 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 it's engagement, team building, you know? Okay. okay. Yeah. And for me, like I tell that enabling environment, the one that I'm telling you, everyone can, it's easy to be able to be themselves and bring out the best in them. Yeah. That for me is the biggest thing. Yeah. And, and um, as long as people don't abuse. Yes. Of course, you know, once there's some, you know, you give somebody leeway to do some things, then they can decide to and now do whatever. <laughs> head, head north or south. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, responsible leaders yeah. would know that this is an environment to thrive. Yeah. And I've been lucky to have leaders who managed to take that up yeah. and, and, and just run with it and, and thrive within that environment. Absolutely. And it makes, it makes even your work easy because yeah. Yeah. now the only thing is to meet, discuss how it's going, mm -hmm. what can, needs to be, can change. Yeah. So, you know, that kind of engagement. And for the rest of the you know, team, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, just being with them, socializing. You should have seen me look for a Jerusalem challenge mm -hmm. dance. Yeah. I was in I was the one dancing salsa inside with the team and all that stuff. It was amazing. <laughs> and, I, I, you know, wow. su so such things, eh? Yeah. They just need to know um, that you relate with them. You relate them with them. You are well. you're not some God somewhere and somewhere who cannot be reached. No, no, yeah. <laughs> Open door anytime. Okay. Yeah. This is an interesting question here. Um, what's your advice to someone who wants to better themselves? to be a better version of themselves. What should they do? I think they're asking about what they can always do to better themselves. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Maybe from what you do yourself. <laughs> so yeah, um, I mean, keep, keep yourself sharp. Today, as I was coming here, mm -hmm. I was listening to an audio book, right? Mm -hmm. um, I, I, so I'm not very good at reading books. You know, there is people yeah. sit on the, in yeah. the bed. My wife does that. Yes. I can't. You're not. <laughs> yeah, but because I have this good commute time, Yes. I managed to down so many books within a very short span of time. Wow. And it's books that actually enrich me. Wow. And, um, and especially on the business space. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, give you better acumen in the business realm. Yeah. Um, so that's one. Yeah. Always try to educate yourself. Yeah. There's, there's a lot to learn. Mm -hmm. Like right now, I'm reading a lot about digital and all that stuff. Eh? Yeah. Um, What's I don't have, yeah, yeah. yeah. Somebody can do it, you know. Somebody, mm -hmm. I can have a team and then they just have a question. In, but I want to know to ask the right questions when, that, when, 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 that, when that time comes. Yeah. Um, so that, so keep yourself sharp. Um, the other thing is, if it's somebody who is, uh, you know, in just starting to work mm -hmm. or just left school, yeah. how do you better yourself? How do you do any, you know, professional courses that can be able to, you know, progress your career? Mm -hmm. You know, I normally tell anybody, especially the young guys mm -hmm. who come to work, you know, by the time I was leaving Campo, I was telling myself, if I have a BSc in mathematics, yeah. What is BC math? What am I gonna do? You know, I didn't I didn't understand myself, right? Yes. Yeah. Because am I gonna go and actually start doing X over Y mm -hmm. is equals to Z and all that stuff. <laughs> cosine, uh, something. Yeah, cosine, <laughs> tangent and all that. Because in in fact in Campo, yeah, the math in campus doesn't have numbers. Oh uh, yeah. You know, I told the epsilon is equals to delta if and only if, blah blah blah. <laughs> and those are symbols that are just crazy, yeah. Oh my goodness. So 
in the business world, nobody will understand. If I come with that, I mean, that's crazy. They will not eh? get anything. Yeah. Else. So that's why that's why I opted to do CPA. Yeah. I did CPS, did some, you know, other commercial courses in, on, on the way, just to better myself. So that when you go to that interview table, mm -hmm. you unleash your degree, I unleash mine. Yes. You unleash, I unleash my CP, I unleash. You unleash something else, I unleash my CP. Yes, well, yeah. So just to be, to be able to give myself an edge. You're right. At, that, at any point in so time. So you constantly keep... Constantly, yeah. You, you, you just have to be ahead of the yourself. game. Sharpening yourself. Yeah. Uh, and I'm telling you, if you yeah. enjoy what you're doing, eh, yes. these other things to augment uh, your... To complement all that. Work. Yes. They just flow. They, they just, just flow. flow. They just flow. Right, right now, I'm actually doing the Chartered Institute of Marketing... Uh, diploma, eh? yeah. which I'm going to finish by December. Mm -hmm. Somebody will ask me, why are you still st st reading? You're studying at... Uh, th I was in class yesterday. Yeah. Somebody would wonder, what, what the hell? I mean, you're already a CEO. You've, why, are you yeah, why are you studying? <laughs> what are you studying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's that, it's that hunger to always, you know, uh -huh. better yourself. Yeah. And I, I, I believe that answers straight to, 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 to this question. question. Yeah. 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 Um, so the I think there are, there are three more, about three more questions. Eh? Mm -hmm. I just want to pick it up. What advice do you have for someone young who's trying to start up a business and a generation behind you? I think that's a good question. Yeah, that, that would definitely be a millennial, right? Yeah, but yeah, first of all, <coughs> I know, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to put you on the spot here. Uh, first of all, you know, you talked about books that you listen to. Mm -hmm. Do you have this one particular book that you would recommend, you know, and tell guys, hey, that book was very nice, you better mm -hmm. check it out? Um, especially for this, somebody who wants to start like this one, oh, yeah, I'll just, I, yeah, let, it, let him just go and listen to Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Oh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Okay. For starters. Yeah. It's the reason I don't believe in owning a house. Okay. And tying up capital. Yes. Yet it could generate much more. Yes. In, in, in terms of return. So yes. from a business perspective, uh -huh. Rich Dad Poor Dad is a very good book mm -hmm. to give you, you know, there's a way, uh -huh. there's a way we, we, especially young people or even our parents, yeah. think from a peer pressure perspective. Mm -hmm. I know. Why haven't you built and all that stuff? <laughs> so you, me, I'm busy here putting up businesses yes. that can be able to ask yourself, if I live, I, 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 I take... And this one, anybody can take with a pinch of salt. Mm -hmm. So you go take a mortgage. Yeah. You are paying, uh, say it's a five million shilling mortgage. Yeah. And you are supposed to pay, say, I don't know, I don't know, say a hundred thousand or fifty thousand shillings Every per month. month. Yeah. Every month you pay shilling, uh, fifty thousand shillings. Yes. Now. And you're paying to the bank, right? Mm -hmm. Now that five million. Yeah. I can easily go, you know, think of a business I can be able to do to be able to generate a hundred thousand. Yes. Shillings, yes. right? Yeah. And you know the fifty thousand you're paying, that house cannot get you a rent of twenty five thousand or thirty thousand. It, it cannot <laughs> for information. <laughs> yeah. Why don't I just take that five million, yeah. start start something, or even fix it in the in the in the bond, the government bond, at and that twelve fourteen percent. Yes. Come and pay twenty five k rent. Yes. And you have cash flow going in. Cash is king for anything you do. Wow. At at some point in life, yeah, there'll come a time when you say maybe I want to just give. Uh, Mama, a, a nice house and all that. But when there's excess cash flow, yes. for now, let's build that capital. Build that capital. As much as possible. And the only way is to do that is don't have dead capital. Don't tie up your capital. Wow. Use that money to generate wow. money. Wow. Simple as that. This is very good advice, man. Yeah. yeah. So don't just rush in. I mean, the book, the book. So you better go and check it out. Yeah. So now, okay, I know I, I, know I skipped, I sort of like mixed up your question. So, that's good advice for the younger generation. Mm -hmm. So I think what you're also telling them is that you better go and read good books that yes. direct yes, you that, yes, is yes, it? Yes, yes, yes. Just enrich yourself from that perspective. Wow. Yeah. So personally, how is your day like? Somebody has asked that question, by the way. Can I read it out? Because I just decided to paraphrase it. They asked, uh, I think it was about time. How do you manage your, yeah. Well, how do you manage your time? I think it's just like, how is your day like? So one thing is, people yeah. normally say, uh, most leaders would say, I wake up at four, five. I'm not a morning person. You know, I'm not a morning, but I, like I can, that. I can do, I can go till the, till <laughs> dead in the night. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But for me, most important is at least drop the kids in the morning. Yeah. Because we talk in the car. Those people, I'm telling you. They have stories. Eh? They have stories. <laughs> so by the time I reach school, <laughs> you've yes. been enough. Yes. Yeah. So that bonding is very important for me. Mm. For. And I try as much as possible to be the one that drops them to school. Yeah. 
then from there you go to work it's um it's, it depends it depends on the days yeah. you know uh, i can't say that i have a clear day that i can tell you today is uh, strategy talk mm -hmm. then you have your management meeting mm -hmm. going through the yesterday's numbers and things like that mm -hmm. um there are days I have to go to the market, see, mm -hmm. see, see my customers. Yeah. Um, I have to go to supermarket, surprise one or two customers in the till. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't have a typical day. My, yeah. my day is, I, I, I go with the mood, I go with the spirit of the day. And as long as you enjoy it, things just flow. I like yeah? that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. So before we come to the end, because now we're already past nine. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, let me just give a shout out to Samuel Baraka. He also does amazing peanut butter. He's been here. Okay. He's saying very inspired. Yeah. That's a, thanks a lot for that. Yeah. Najma. Oh, Najma is a big fan of Bizna Talks. Oh, nice. She's saying good morning. And then she says what? Uh, she's enjoying the discussion. And then she also says that, yes, lots of people have no knowledge of most products like that honey crystallizes. Yeah. Yeah. People don't know, as we say, custom wow, yeah. At least somebody knows. Yeah. <laughs> And then uh, she's saying as well, better yourself day by day. Very important points there that mm -hmm. you've spoken out. Wow. Yeah. Goodness, Lord, you know, we can't exhaust. Eh? We yeah. can't exhaust, you, as I said. <laughs> <laughs> and this has been so nice now. Now, mm. what question am I going to take mm. as the last one for you? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Maybe just tell us about the legacy you want to leave behind and then your party shirt. For me, it's simple. I, I like giving. Yeah. And... Um, mostly through education. Mm -hmm. In fact, when I, I, I normally toy with this idea of starting a, a, a fund of sorts, a Malel fund, to be able to go to Lokichar Primary School where I went yeah. and, and be able to get that kid from Trukana and yeah. take them to some, you know, some good school mm -hmm. and they can go and impact the community even better. Yeah. That to me, if, if tomorrow somebody came during my funeral, yeah and said he helped during my education wow. and I'm who I am today because there was because that help. Did. Yeah. I'll be so peaceful in my grave. Yeah. For me, that, that would be my mission. That's uh, powerful. That, would, that would be my mission in life. Wow. Um, so today as, 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 as I leave business talk, I want yeah. to, 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 to challenge anyone yeah. listening today. Yeah to ask themselves, are you, as you live every day, are you writing your eulogy? Mm -hmm. And what would people say when, wow. you leave, when you leave tomorrow? Nobody yeah. will care that you had four cars, yeah. um, a beautiful house or mm -hmm. anything like that. Very true. Those are vanity. Yeah. What impact would yeah. you, would you, have, uh, you know, have, uh, have done? What would you have left in the society? Absolutely. Um, you can be in business, yeah. even as you think about profit, mm -hmm. think about the implication of the impact yeah. to the community and the bigger populace. Absolutely. If you get an answer to that, mm -hmm. and every day that becomes your purpose in life, mm -hmm. you live a very fulfilling life. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Ish. What a, what a powerful way to end. My goodness, what will you leave behind yourself when you go? Lovely. Thanks a lot, Joseph, for you know, all your sentiments, all your time and all yeah. that. I know we even exceeded the time. My pleasure. This is Joseph Choge, the CEO Premier Foods Limited. From December, it'll be a different title. <laughs> Already appointed <laughs> as, uh, you know, the... Is it going to be CEO or MD? It's a Group MD. Group MD yeah. of Unga Groups Limited. Uh, come in December and we wish you well, man. Thank you very much. Uh, at least I'll always be saying... I know people, which is very good, <laughs> very good. The subject has been leadership in business and I hope you have taken out something. I'm sorry I couldn't read all your comments today because we needed to listen more, you know. And I hope you have taken something out of this. Thank you so much for your time. Best talks, that's it for now. And of course, just a shout out to Sport on Apparel. Thanks a lot for making me look this way. Asante sana. And by the way, I don't know whether our producer can actually run that, uh, you know, slide. If you really want to check them out. Just there, right there, Spot on Apparels is going to be shown. Uh, is it there? Is it there? Excellent. There you have it. Reach to them. They can make you look as nice as me for those people who ask you. Thanks a lot for your time. And by the way, you're already a convert, right? Oh, yes. You, you need to get a oh, shot. Yeah. It's a question of when. <laughs> when, when, when are you doing this? <laughs> right away, right yeah, away. Yeah. Asante, sign up. Bye-bye for now. Keep working. <laughs>